Wild Weather by Thomas Kingsley Troop, illustrated by Jamie Kristoff. High up along a mountain trail, a hiker sat and folded an origami bird. It sure is sunny, she said, as she held the bird high. A gust of wind lifted the paper. The bird began to fly. Whoa, how did it get so windy? Just then, the bird spotted a duck flying nearby. Hey there, what's your name? The bird remembered the hiker had said Sunny. Sunny, I think. I'm Chuck. Nice to meet you, Sunny. Say, I've got a real problem. My wife Natasha is missing. We were trying to fly away from here. Why do you want to leave? Sunny asked. The mountain valley looked nice enough. Aren't you a bird? Most birds fly south before winter. This wind is making flying tough. Where did all this wind come from? It's simple, he said. The sun heats the land, making the air above it warm. The warm air rises. Cool air rushes to take the place of the warm air. And because Earth spins, wind can come from any direction. So do you think the wind carried Natasha away? Sunny asked. I hope not, Chuck cried. She was right next to me. But then she disappeared. Cool air, warm air. A drop of water struck Sunny's wing. Just what we need. It's raining. Fly underneath me, Sunny. I don't think wet paper is good for flying. Clouds and rain? How did they get here? Check out this water cycle chart. It explains how clouds form and rain falls. Wow, that's pretty simple, really. The sun heats the water on the ground, turning it into an invisible gas. Water droplets clump together to form clouds. Water droplets combine and fall as rain. Gas rises, cools, and turns into water droplets. So rain is just a bunch of tiny droplets, Sunny asked. That doesn't seem so bad. Normal rainstorms are fine, but thunderstorms can make lightning and heavy rain. When too much rain falls all at once, a flood can form. Whoa. Hang on, Chuck yelled. Hail is falling. Hail, Sunny chirped. What's that? Sometimes storm clouds called cumulonimbus clouds form. Water droplets is the, in the highest part of the cloud bounce around and freeze into ice pellets, Chuck said. The pellets hit water droplets and the hail gets bigger. And once the hail is too heavy, it falls, Sunny asked. You got it, Chuck shouted. Come on, let's head for the woods. Isn't there any way to know when the weather will get wild? There is. Meteorologists study and predict weather. They use tools to help them. Weather tools, Sunny asked, like what? They have instruments to measure wind speed and direction, Chuck explained, and radar to track rain and thunderstorms. Meteorologists even use satellites in outer space to track how and where the clouds move. And a nanometer, radar, radar and satellite. Sunny shivered. His papery body was growing cold. Natasha is lost and it will snow any day now, Chuck quacked sadly. So what's the deal with snow? It's a bit different than hail. The water vapor turns into an ice crystal. The ice crystal clings to other crystals and forms a snowflake. That doesn't sound so bad, Sunny said. If the ground and air are cold enough, the snowflakes pile up and cover the ground, Chuck quacked. The lakes freeze and it's tough for birds like us to find food. Oh, so that's why you fly south. I'm not flying south without my wife, Natasha, Chuck quacked. Where are you? How's the weather down south? It's much warmer, but the weather can get wild there too. What do you mean, Sunny asked. Heat is measured in temperature, Chuck explained. When the air is hot, the temperature is high. A low temperature means it's cool. That makes sense, Sunny said. Too much heat can hurt people, plants, even animals, Chuck quacked. During a heat wave, the temperature and humidity stay high for two or more days. I wouldn't want to be stuck in one of those, Sunny said. Where was the worst heat wave on record? That would be down under. The temperature in Marble Bar, Australia was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius, for 160 days in a row in 1923. Hot days, mate. Where is Natasha? She could have, have just disappeared. What happened to those trees? A tornado came through here years ago, Chuck said. What's a tornado? Sonny asked. It's a funnel of wind that forms in the sky and wrecks what it touches on the ground, Chuck said. Tornadoes form during a thunderstorm. 
They are more likely to occur over flat land. But how, Sunny asked. When the wind in a storm changes direction, increases speed and rises, it makes the air below it spin. Rising air pushes the spinning column of air downward until it's vertical. The spinning funnel of air speeds up, forming a tornado. Tornadoes are usually determined to be weak, strong, or violent. The violent ones can have winds in excess of 200 miles. That's 322 kilometers per hour. They can destroy homes. Only 2% of tornadoes are violent. I had no idea that weather could be so scary, Sunny said. That's nothing. My cousin Frank almost got caught in a hurricane once. A hurricane? I'm afraid to ask. A hurricane forms in summer or fall, Chuck said. It forms over an ocean and moves toward land. Does it make lots of wind like a tornado, asked Sunny? Yes. Strong winds rotate around the eye of the storm, said Chuck. The spinning storm picks up energy from the warmth of the ocean. When it hits land, high winds and heavy rain can damage buildings. The eye of a hurricane is a spot in the center of the storm. In the eye, the winds are light or calm. Clouds break up and rain ends as the sky clears. Wow, all that dangerous weather scares me, said Sunny. Here's the thing, Sunny, Chuck said. We can't control weather, but meteorologists can warn everyone when dangerous weather is coming, and we can prepare for it. Hey, Chuck, is that your wife? It is. Where were you, Natasha? I went back for my sunglasses. I can't fly south without them. Come with us, Sonny, Chuck said. I'd love to, Sonny said. But can I get some of those cool sunny glasses too? 